Hi, my name is Andrea from SenseFly. In this tutorial, I show you how to plan and fly a mapping mission with SenseFly EBX and SenseFly Soda 3D. SenseFly Soda 3D is a unique innovation. The camera features a 1 inch sensor, 20 megapixel resolution, and a global shutter. On top, it is mounted on a 2 ax gimbal, which allows the camera to rotate during the flight. It will take three pictures in a row oblique, nadir, oblique. This allows for a wider field of view and additional vertical perspective, which is specifically important for urban environments, mines and mountains. Before installing Soda 3D into your EBX, make sure that your EBX is not connected to the computer nor to a battery. On your Soda 3D, you will have to remove the clip that holds it in place during transport. Then make sure to have an SD card inserted and remove the lens cap. Then the camera is inserted by plugging the camera connector into the socket of the EBX payload bay. Clip it in, making sure that the buttons pop up all the way. In order to flight plan a mission in eMotion flight planning software for a flight with SenseFly EBX and SenseFly Soda 3D camera, open eMotion and under the mission tab, add a block that is called 3D mapping. The 3D mapping block is specifically designed to benefit from the SenseFly Soda 3D's rotation capabilities. Place the block on your map, adjust its outline, turn the flight lines into the direction that you would like to fly, and then adjust the settings. In the settings, you can choose the resolution. Default is 2.8 centimeters per pixel, which makes you fly at 120 meters or 400 feet. The tilting angle, which you can set between 0 degrees to 45 degrees. It is best to choose an angle that is half of the angle of your steepest feature in the area that you're going to map. So if that is 60 degrees, choose an angle for the Soda 3D camera that is at 30 degrees. Or if there are a lot of buildings, like in my example, choose 45 degrees. Lateral and longitudinal overlap are set to 60% and 85%. The 85% of the longitudinal overlap guarantee you 60% of overlap between each image looking to one side, or nadir, or the other side. For large area mapping, you can drop the lateral overlap down to 10% if you'd like. With the wider field of view from the three images in the three directions, we still get enough overlap between images to process a nice looking orthomosaic. The longitudinal overlap is best left at 85%, which guarantees you an overlap of 60% between all the images that look to the left, nadir or to the right. In order to import the data after your flight, remove the SenseFly Soda 3D from the EBX payload bay, take out the SD card on which all images and necessary flight logs are stored insert it into your computer's SD card reader and open post-flight in eMotion. Follow Flight Data Manager through all the steps to import your data. Thank you for watching. For further information, visit our web page, uh, SenseFly Academy webinars, the knowledge base, or contact our support team.